bonjour! Today I'm going to be doing my March TBR. Yes, I will still be doing my February wrap up. I just am almost done with a few books and I wanted to give myself more time to finish them. So instead of filming my wrap up today, I will be doing my March TBR. So in March, I'm going to be going to two book signings. I am so excited. The first book signing is actually in a few weeks and it is going to be with Kirsten White. Mary E. Pearson and Veronica Rossi. The second one is the week after that, and it's going to be the Penguin Teen on Tour. So there's going to be a bunch of authors. I forgot which ones, but yeah, I'm so excited. So I'm going to be reading most of the books that I bought for the first signing. The second signing, there's so many authors, so I only bought ones for one author, and I already read her other books so I am just going to be reading the first one. The first book I will be reading for the signing is Illusions of Fate by Kristen White. So I did meet Kristen White um, last week. I actually did a video about it, a vlog. I'll link that down below. So Kristen White is amazing. I love her so much. I cannot wait to meet her again. I'm so excited. So when I talked to her, she mentioned how this book is actually like kind of like fake historical fiction. It's more like on like the fantasy side. So that sounds awesome. And like I read her other, I read a short story that she did for My True Love Gave to Me. And it was one of my favorites from the whole book. Like I really loved it so much. It was written so well and I just, I loved it. So I really cannot wait to read this book. So this book, I, it's really... Like, the description for this book is, like, really ambiguous. Like, I don't really know what it's about. It's more, like, it, it says it's, like, this character, she moves to, like, this island, and, like, a bunch of crazy stuff happens, and there's, like, a romance. And so, also this cover, though, it's so pretty. Oh, my God. Yas. So, yeah, I am so excited to read this, because Kirsten White is awesome. The next books I'm going to be reading in March are... Kiss of Deception and Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson. So as I just mentioned, she is also coming to the signing. And I'm so excited to read these. I've heard nothing but good things about these books. I'm so excited. So these apparently are about like this princess who is an heir to the throne and then she runs away to the countryside to live like on her own and then two guys follow her and one is trying to kill her and the other one's like in love with her or something and there's like a love triangle. And I think, I think I read somewhere that this was like a Sleeping Beauty retelling. And oh my god, these covers are so gorgeous. I can't even. Like, I am such a sucker for like beautiful covers. Oh my god. So I am so excited to read these. I actually bought these a while ago. I think I might have even done a book haul for this channel about, with these books. So I was really excited to... Um, um, to see that she was coming for a signing. I was like, yes! I can't wait to read these. They sound so good. So the next book I'm going to be reading in March is the book for my TBR jar. So um, I am going to choose again for this month. I've been looking at other people who have been doing this same challenge and a lot of people have actually been like selectively choosing which categories to do with which month. And some people have been doing them at random, but it seems like a lot of people have been choosing them. So I'm just going to keep choosing them, or maybe some months I might do it randomly. So yeah, I'm just going to keep choosing. So for this month, I chose Read a Book Published in 2016. The last book, the last book I will be reading for the signing is Writers by Veronica Rossi. This book was published February 16, 2016. So 1616, a. So yeah, I'm gonna be meeting Veronica Rossi. I'm so excited. I've never read anything by her, but I've heard a lot of good things about her book. So I'm really excited. And this book just sounds great. This book is about um this main character. He was like, apparently he was like an army ranger or something. And he goes on like this really dangerous mission and he dies on it. And then in like his afterlife, he becomes one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. He becomes the war horseman. And then like apparently like there's like a battle and like a war going on and he's like part of it. I don't know. It just, it sounds really interesting and unique. I've never read a book about the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Like that's pretty cool. And also this cover is just so cool. I love, love how the horse is like on fire. Like, yes. Even the back has like all these pretty trees that are on fire. I am so excited. I'm so excited to read this. Like, it sounds so cool. And I've never read anything more on a Karasi. And, like, I can't wait to meet her, too. I'm so excited for the signing. The last book I will be reading in March is Hamlet by William Shakespeare. So, I mentioned in my February TBR that I would be reading this for class. So, I did start reading it already. And I'm, like, a hundred pages in about. So yeah, I'm I'm on act two. I will continue to read this during March and I'll most likely finish it because we 
we're going to be reading it pretty fast. As I mentioned before, I absolutely love Shakespeare and I was so excited to read this. And so far it's been kind of like crazy and I really love the language. The only thing that really bothers me about this is like, so Hamlet starts out that um, Hamlet, his dad has just been like, has been killed and like his uncle takes over the throne and his mom got married with his uncle and everything. Just everything just sucks for Hamlet. He just lost his dad. And and the, what really bothers me about this book is how like everybody in the book, like Cla like Claudius, his uncle, and his mom, Ber Gertrude, and like a, a couple other people are like, oh my God, just get over your dad's death. Like people die all the time. Like it's so common. Like, excuse me? He just lost his father? That's a really traumatic death to get through not to mention Hamlet is only like a teenager in this book like he's not even an adult and they're just like oh my god get over it he's he everybody dies like all the time like it's so common to die well yes but that's oh my god it just really bothers me like a, a, a parental death is just really traumatic that's one of the most traumatic deaths somebody could go through and they're just like oh my god get over it already because like Hamlet is really depressed a lot in this book and he's constantly like all in black because he's in mourning and everybody's like oh my god just stop wearing black already and get over it like no and it's only been like two months or whatever since his dad died two months is not enough to get over your father dying like ugh. but i really i really love shakespeare's language and i am enjoying really reading it the shakespeare's language i don't know i'm kind of having a little bit of trouble with it i don't know why i don't know if it's because um the few times i've been reading hamlet I was really, really tired, so it might have just been that, and I wasn't really paying attention much, and so I didn't really understand what was going on, but I really love the language so far, and I'm excited to see how, I'm excited to see what happens next, like, it's really interesting. I'm kind of sad because to know what happens next, because I know this is a tragedy, and literally, like, everybody dies, <laughs> um, so I'm kind of sad about that, but I'm excited to find out what happens. These are all the books I plan to read in March. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Comment below what you are reading in March. Au revoir!